Greetings and welcome to this week's edition of Smart Council for Lunch. I'm Suzanne Sayward, a partner at the Dedham, Massachusetts law firm of Samuel Sayward and Baylor, where we concentrate our practice in the areas of estate planning, elder law, estate and trust administration, and probate. Well, here we are deep in the month of June, also known as wedding season. So what better time to talk about the critical importance of planning for people who are getting married for the second or third or more time? Marriage is not just about declaring your love in the presence of your family and friends. It's a legal contract, and there are rights and obligations that are governed by state statute when you are married. Most people understand that termination of a marriage via a divorce can result in the allocation of assets between soon-to-be ex-spouses in ways that may not make them happy. But many people don't realize that there are also rights vested in a spouse when one spouse passes away. If a spouse dies without a will, then distribution of that person's estate will be governed by the intestate laws. In Massachusetts, the amount to which a surviving spouse is entitled under the intestate laws depends on the other family members that the decedent had and whether the parties had children together or children from prior relationships. Even if you have a will in place that leaves your assets to your intended beneficiaries, there, the, the statute in Massachusetts permits a surviving spouse to upend that will and take against the will. Again, the amount that the surviving spouse would be entitled to take using this law depends on various factors, mostly as to who were the other relatives of the decedent. So how do you deal with these issues? Well, as with so many things in life, planning. Advanced planning is the best way to make sure that your wishes and those of your spouse are carried out. A prenuptial agreement for second or later marriages, it should be a given. Many people bring assets to the marriage and have children from prior marriages or relationships who they want to protect a prenuptial agreement that lays that all out and including what the surviving spouse would be entitled to receive is your best tool for making sure that your wishes are carried out. If we can be of help to you, please don't hesitate to reach out. Accompanying today's video is our blog, which talks a little bit more about these issues. Thanks for watching, and before you head out, please make sure you like our video and subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you back here in this space next week.